All right, right, well look, we're just at the very end of the day. I'm just doing the final session, but before I do that, I just grab the wonderful Liz Sargent, who on Twitter is at... At Liz Sargent. Right, at, if you're on Twitter, follow her, she's fantastic. She's just done two back-to-back -back sessions on Discharge to Assess. Now, this is like really scary stuff. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is, it worried me. No, it's yeah, not. Okay, tell us why it isn't. It's it's not scary stuff because it's more scary to keep older people in hospital. Well, that's true, but you have got to get really organised, haven't you, to get this properly done. You've got to have good planning in the hospital and you've got to have a quick response in the community. Yes. But it doesn't all have to be by expensive stuff. No. It's about carers and actually just doing the right thing for older people by assessing them in hospital, as we do currently. We get it wrong so many yeah. times because they're like fish out of water in hospital. And oddly, we wouldn't do that for younger people. We let them go home and sort themselves out. I absolutely get that. But from the practical point of view, um, I mean, working, for example, in social services, the in-reach teams, uh, you were saying you don't, you're not too bothered about uh, occupational therapists? Really? No, I'm not. I'm saying right. the occupational therapists are currently in the wrong place. Right, okay. where should they be? Out in the community doing the assessment Basically, once somebody It's funny because I wrote a piece the other day saying they should be based in the community. But not doing the old-fashioned home visits where somebody then gets brought back to hospital, yeah. but doing the assessment once they're home yeah. and And community care. physio is quite important, isn't it? That, but yeah. That's rarer than hen's teeth in some places. It's quite hard to get. But a lot of these, so we need to use OT and physio when they need it and yeah. there's some people where the care agencies the voluntary sector can give us a heads up yeah. when they first get home not everybody needs and what an about social services because you know they've really got to be on the ball as well yeah. and they are struggling you know they're they're running on the smell of money rather than money <laughs> so at the moment they're having to do assessments on people that don't actually aren't ever going to need social care won't meet the criteria if they're involved after the person's had a period of recovery at home we find that the care packages they need to put in long term are smaller and less people are admitted to long term That's care. Really so they do the assessment when the person's at their best, yeah. not when they're at their worst. And you're leaving, aren't you? Uh, you're going to go and do it yourself now. I am going to go and do it myself. Right. <laughs> That's very scary, isn't it? It is very scary, but yeah. somebody's got to measure it, evaluate it, and yeah. prove the difference it makes. Okay. Will you people. publish it on the Academy of Fabulous Stuff for us? Yes, I will. We'll okay, fine. There you go. So this is a fabulous list. No, don't go. Yeah, there he is. This is a fabulous list. Right. This chance to assess. She's going to publish her outcomes home on, the, first, on the academy. Home first. Home first. first. Home yes. first. Home, not home birth. Home last first. Last thousand days. And the last thousand days. Very important. That's it. Got to go. Got to do a session.